My name is Kiona Kanathera, and I'm with the Temple of Ascending Flame. Today, we will take a brief look surrounding Hecate and her mysteries, her origins. Hecate is a popular goddess, and with good reason. She is the dark goddess that leads onto the path of self-mastery, self-attunement, and self-realization. Her position as a goddess of sorcery, one of many attributes, places her within a boundary of spiritual attainment. Hence the reason one of her titles is Goddess of the Crossroads. She stands at the threshold of the spiritual world, guiding us in conquering our shadows and doing the inner work. In this brief presentation, I will walk you through some of Hecate's stories, a little bit about her and how we work with her in the temple. From research, the name Hecate, Greek pronunciation, or Ekate, the Latin pronunciation, means from afar which makes sense as she is the one that guides us on our journey down a path of self-mastery. With more information readily available, you will learn of a few for epithets and titles. These are a few that I've come across in working with her. She is known as Adnea, goddess of the underworld, Trimorphus, the triple goddess, and Enodea, crossroads, as we normally would meet her there to start our journey. There is more to Hecate that I will be touching on. Since Hecate is a popular goddess, on most of what is coming up you know. But my hope is to give you a little more to chew on. So with a little background about her, let's take a further look into her mysteries. Hecate can have a complicated backstory, depending on your personal path and where you believe she is from. Some say her name is Heka, the ancient Egyptian god and word for magic. Others know that she is a titan that is either helping Zeus with the War of the Titans or birthed by Zeus. Some say she is a pre-Olympian Chthonic goddess from her role in the Chaldean oracles. How about we touch a little on these origins and meet Hecate? Heka, from what research is out there, was an Egyptian god of magic. His priests would normally invoke and worship him in order to use Heka, aka magic. The deity was seen as the all, meaning that all power was granted by him. So I can see how they thought that this was related to Hecate. Hecate is a triple Greek goddess, her most worked with and acknowledged form. And she is also a goddess of witchcraft, magic, and the moon. And in essence, if you wanted to learn the history or work with magic, she would be who you would ultimately turn to. It's quite common for older deities or ones with similar attributes and names to be migrated or absorbed into one another. This is no different with Hecate, but Heca and Hecate, in my opinion, are two separate gods. Hecate the Titan. According to all the lore and mythology we have ever learned about Hecate, she was a child of the Titans Perseus and Asteria. This is where she was gifted her powers by her parents over the heavens, earth, and sea. So from here we have her first origin within the Greek mythology. Her next break within a mythology is that she was a daughter of Zeus, fully formed, but I didn't see too much research backing that up. Next, she was gifted her powers by Zeus and her participation against the Titans in the war. Not to mention that she also helped Demeter find Persephone when she was snatched to the underworld. That was also a way she was found in favor with Zeus. There's her role as a pre-Olympian Chthonic goddess as one of three gods giving information to the oracles. The Chaldean oracles are lost stories from Rome that lists Hecate as the feminine power that took the fires and given birth to intellect, like the Sophia. This information was then passed on to the oracles. People journeyed far to come see and listen to the oracles pass on the gnosis from the gods. In this tale, she is mainly a goddess of intellect and intelligence. Hecate in the Temple of Ascending Flame. With all that we have read, seen, researched, and experienced on our own, there is one thing that stands out. Hecate is the beginning. She holds the keys for us to learn more. Her role in the Temple of Ascending Flame is our guide on the path of darkness. After all, the dark holds all the secrets, all the mysteries, all the light. In order to be enlightened, you must conquer the dark. Revel in it. Learn in it. Be one with it. What Hecate does is allow us the chance to learn our shadow self, to dive in the abyss and open our eyes. 
But then the temple, she guides us on the draconian path to learn the mysteries that awaits us. You can say she helps to initiate us on the path of the abyss to become a better, stronger, and more balanced person. Hecate is the goddess of witchcraft, the goddess of sorcery, the opener to all mysteries, and has a long history, as we can see. But one thing to know is that Hecate will guide you on the path, protect you, provide you with balance. If you need to go further on your path, she is the one to call upon. Your beginning is with Hecate. There are many books on the market about Hecate. This book is by the temple at the link below. In this book, you will have historical research, meditations, rituals, and personal gnosis from members and who Hecate has guided and walked with us. I hope you enjoy this brief information on Hecate. Found maybe something new that you didn't know, including the Chthonic oracles and her relation to Heca. If you have any other questions or would like to know more, you can visit the Temple of Ascending Flame online or you can follow us on Facebook. Thank you.